week 76 update. Welcome, my name is Patrice to Patrice Denise. I'm over here living a healthy, sustainable life, one day at a time, one step at a time. Been chronicling my Manjaro journey, my journey in life, my journey through this health maintenance phase, my journey to better myself, my journey in general for the last 76 weeks. Is it 76? I think it is 76. Y'all know I always forget every week <laughs> because, yep, it's 76. So, just been, you know, uh, documenting it and staying accountable to myself as well as you guys along the way. So, I, like I said, I am on the medication Manjaro. I've been on this medication for 76 weeks now. I started out on 2.5, went to, uh, stayed on that for four weeks, went to five milligrams, stayed on that for well over a year, and got on the 7.5 milligrams in November of 2023. And it's now May 15th, 2024, and have been on that milligram ever since. I also, when I started a 7.5 milligram dose, I decided to uh, stretch it out to every 10 days, taking it instead of every seven days, because I am in my own pro uh, proclaimed maintenance mode. <laughs> so I am kind of maintaining with my weight, maintaining with my blood sugar, because Manjaro um, if you didn't know, it helps with controlling blood sugars in type 2 diabetes. It also has a has components that helps in um, aiding in weight management as well. Information on Manjaro is down below. Also, information on ZetBound is down below because ZetBound is the weight loss version of Manjaro. Um, same medication, no difference uh, in the medication. It's just named a different name. Um, so that it could be prescribed for that reason. But, um, and I'm not a doctor. I am a nurse. I'm a care coordinator. I work in care management. I am an RN. So I do have that information in my background, medical, you know, information in my background, but I don't, you know, come on here to try to tell anybody what to do. I want you to definitely check out with your provider, your pharmacist, your whoever, prescribes the medication for you definitely check with them before you make any changes to the plan of care okay all right always like to say that but um so like i said i have been stretching out every 10 days so my last injection was on may the 11th which was on saturday today is wednesday may the 15th and my next injection will be on may 21st still on 7.5 milligrams still hanging strong um my blood sugars were great this this week they really stayed kind of in the same range and um they were they stayed in the 80 high 80s to the uh low mid-range 90s um all throughout this past week i'll put the blood sugars up here for you to look at and what i found because i did do a video on what i eat and i did the whole week and i tracked everything that i ate for the whole week and what i found is that um I might want to do that again because that was like right before my time of the month, my menstrual period came on and I was feeling a little snackish. But um, I do say that that was a good week because I, you know, I was able to eat. I was able to um, get in a good amount of protein throughout that week. And I noticed that my calories were around 18. I say average 1800 calories per day and when I looked at I went to that um, calculator where you can calculate how many calories you should have per week I mean per day to maintain your weight and it was right around that amount so I think I am doing well with staying in anywhere between 1500 to 1800 calories a day just to maintain. Now I'm trying to increase my protein and my my coach, I say my coach because my daughter and I are in a program called the Fit Family Program. He wants me to increase my protein um, up. Right now we're, we're at 90. I'm trying to even get higher than that. Um, and I want to get to like the 100, 100 teens. And eventually maybe even go higher because protein helps with maintaining muscle mass. It helps with building muscle. And I do eventually want to go um, more into building muscle 
because I was um looking at like I was looking at my arm in the shower this morning and I was like okay this this part was you see that you see that this part was more than what it uh, it is now it used to be way more than this and I want to get more definition I do have some see <laughs> some definition here child mm -mm. but <laughs> i do want to get more so i do want to um continue to cook to um get my protein goals in to build muscle right i want to build muscle i don't want to i want to keep my nice you know face like this instead of being so, so i just want to build the muscle you know all right and maintain that muscle mass so because you know a lot of people oh um, I, well, see, sidetrack. I know, oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> I'm a squirrel. Um, I like to look at, because my coach, he suggested this channel on YouTube, Mind Pump. And it has a, they have a channel that says Mind Pump Clips, where they have shorter version of the videos, and they have Mind Pump. Um, and I was looking at a video the other day. I'm trying to find it. And they were talking about Ozempic face and how to not or how to avoid Ozempic face. There it is. Pull this up. It's the second video right there. And they were just talking about what causes, you know, people to lose the um, fat, I mean not fat, the muscle, and um, while they're on GLP ones, and how you can combat that. And of course, a lot of that is building uh, muscle, getting your protein in. And I think this, I don't, I don't, I, I haven't watched a lot of it uh, of these of their videos just yet to know the names of the different personalities on there the names of different people on there but i think this guy's name is um adam i think i'm not sure and i think that they were saying that he's on ozempic or on semaglutide a form of the of the this medic of ozempic um and they were saying what he was saying what he does and what he takes and different things that he supplements into his diet to combat ozempic face right so that was really interesting so check check that out if you're interested but it's mine oh this this channel is mind pump show and that one was called the truth about ozempic face and what causes it so i'm getting good information from that channel that my coach suggested um uh, what else so pertaining to manjaro and um just health wise i do want to continue to um do strength training exercises i did not do any this week last week i did one on tuesday i did not do any this week i kept saying i was going to do some and i said i was going to do it on monday and i didn't do it i could still do it today that would really be considered this week We'll see. We'll see. I like using Mr. and Mrs. Muscle for um, for that um, when I do do any strength training. And then I was thinking to the future with summer. I can't really. I can't wait for summer to come because Mariah, my daughter, um, we could go to the gym during the summer and we can you know do some different activities together that way. So I, I can't wait for that to come. Then I was thinking I might want to try swim lessons. I'm just thinking out loud right now, y'all. Thinking out loud, but. I might want to try swim lessons this summer too. Getting, you know, putting all of us in swim lessons just to make sure we are um, good where we're with, with swimming and being in the water. All the, you know, my children and I myself. Because I was listening to the radio the other day and they were talking about how um, people of color don't focus on the importance of learning how to swim and really, really, really knowing how to swim. So. Yes, oh, that, I don't know why that just came into my mind, but yes, I want to look into that too. And then this month is National Mental Health Awareness Month. And my girlfriend, she did an amazing job on last night. We're doing a Bible study on mental health. 
and she's going to do a part two and you know, a part three. And I'll put the um, link to that video down below if you're interested. But just, you know, knowing when to seek help, knowing that you're not alone, knowing that there are supports and resources out there for you if you need assistance. Um, even just like, even if it's not the fact that you need counseling or things like that, but you just need like tips and suggestions on, on how to manage throughout the day, um, how to, you know, manage throughout life, making sure that you take time for yourself. That's the important, one of the important ways to just make sure your mental health is good is making sure to take time out for yourself, making sure to invest in yourself, making sure to uh, apply that self-care, apply um, that, um, how does Sarah Jakes Roberts, she says self-care versus, oh, I read about that in the chapter, prior to the chapter that I just finished, um, but she was saying self-care versus, oh my goodness, soul care so self-care versus soul care and um making sure you just get that in for yourself that can help with your your mental health so just you know we live by rule but just make sure you take time out for yourself and get that mental health that um self-care sorry yeah making sure you get that self-care in that can help with if you're going through some things, if you're finding yourself in a slump, if you're finding yourself in just a state where you can't get out of, think about what you can do to do something good for yourself. Also, think about what you can do to alleviate some of the pressures that you may find yourself in. So, for instance, yesterday for me, um, I'm doing a video right now on a blog. I don't know what I'm going to call it. It's a blog. It's me blogging. Uh, my health journey, but um, I was stressing a little bit because I was like, I need to go grocery shopping. I need to do this. I need to do this. Da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, what can I do that will help to take something off of my plate? Well, I've never done the Instacart for my grocery shopping. So I was like, okay, just do it. Just let somebody else shop for you. And because I was just thinking that they're not going to pick the right stuff. They're not going to pick the right vegetables or the, and I didn't even get vegetables. I got frozen vegetables, but like then the fruit might be mushy or whatever. Just, you know, I'm thinking, and actually I did the Instacart yesterday and it worked out really well. So, and that same girlfriend who did the Bible study, I was texting her back and forth and, and asking her how, because she does it a lot. It does that all the time. And she probably because she knows that that's the one way to relieve different things that are off of her plate. She does a pickup. She does a grocery pickup. And so I'm going I'm to look into that too because, um, you know, the added fees from doing the Instacart, I was like, mm -hmm. but it was worth it. It was well worth it. The, the person, he did a great job. The kids actually were home um, when the groceries got here. And I, um, they, they put it up. They put everything up. So in that blog, you'll see I had to just show you what I got. Um, and then I did go to Target too and get some things. But yeah, so um, just finding things that you can do, finding ways, strategies, uh, different things you can do to alleviate the stressors in your life will help with your mental health as well. So what else? Oh, just real quick, my weekly update of my trackers. So um, prayer journal, Mother, no, Saturday and yesterday yesterday no not yesterday that was monday monday when i monday morning those covers had a grip on me in the bed and so i did not formally do my prayer on saturday i had to work saturday morning I had to get up really early that's just writing my prayers out i didn't formally do it and i didn't formally do my bible study but today in my bible study is that in the right spot yep today in my bible study i was reading about in acts the 10th chapter and it's about peter Peter was one of the disciples, you know, and he's now turned apostle because he's actually spreading the good news. Um, Peter meets Cornelius, and Cornelius was a um, officer in the Gentile, or well, he was a Gentile, and he was an officer in the army, 
and Cornelius actually had a angel come to him because Cornelius he was God fearing and um, wanted to seek more of God, and God, you know, knew that and heard that in him or, or saw that in him. So God was providing a way to get help Cornelius with with getting more information on him and 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 learning more about him. But the way he did it was. Cornelius had an angel appeared to him and Cornelius um, telling Cornelius to seek out, go tell, or get someone to send word to Peter to come to him. Now, um, it wasn't customary for Jews and Gentiles to mix, you know, um, but so Cornelius, he did, he followed what the Lord said, what God said, and he sent word to Peter. But now in the meantime, while that word was, while they were, you know, word was going to Peter, Peter he um one day was he was hungry and he went into you know to sleep and he dreamt of killing animals like birds reptiles you know wild animals and he awoke and he was like no i can't do that i um we don't eat unclean meat you know and as a jew so god said to him don't don't um call something unclean that I I made clean, that I said clean. In other words, if I tell you to do something, do it. <laughs> if I tell you, if I'm showing you to do something, do it. That's what God tell, tell, told Peter. So that vision came to Peter three times, and Peter, he did. He followed what the Lord said, and he went to Cornelius. They met. He did, you know, tell him up front, mm, you know, this is not what we are used to doing, you know, Jews and Jews house, uh, sitting down together. But he was able to spread the word of God, spread the gospel, spread the good news of Jesus to Cornelius, which helped to continue to spread the good news all around the world. So what I took from that is that when God tells you to do something, do it. Don't question it. Another thing I took from that is just because we are customary to doing something and then God tells us to do something that's not within the customs that we normally do, don't question God do it. Maybe it's time for you to unbox yourself from those customs. Maybe it's time for you to move on from them, those customs, but don't question what God has laid out to happen because of what you're used to doing, right? Well, what we're used to doing. So I would, that, that, that was really good right there. All right. Um, my personal reading, I am still reading in the woman evolved Sarah, by Sarah Jakes Roberts. And I did not yet read today. And there are two other days that I didn't read. So I could still read today, but I didn't read yet today. Um, water intake. I water in every day except for Mother's Day. Mother's Day, I lounged on that couch after my husband did a great little brunch for... Well, I, I said my husband did it, but he did it for me because he uh, went in with my girl, my best, my best friend's uh, husband and my sister's husband. They all went together and they got a chef, a private chef, to come and cook for the families. And we had a little brunch, and that was great, and I appreciate them all. So after that, I laid down on the couch, and that was it for Mother's Day. <laughs> um, physical activity. Two days I did not get my physical activities in, and one day, um, um, that's on Mother's Day as well as on that Saturday. Saturday I had to work early that morning. Mother's Day, I just said, nope, not doing it today. And um, the 11th, that was Saturday, I did get my 10,000 steps in because I'm trying to get 10,000 steps in a day. But I did not get that in on Mother's Day because I laid on the couch all day. And then on my fasting, my fasting blood sugars, which I showed you guys, I am missing one day. And that was on the 11th, that was on that Saturday because I um, got up early and had to be to work by 6. And I probably was running late and yeah, didn't check my blood sugar that morning. But my blood sugars the other mornings were good. So that is my weekly update. Remember, guys, to do something for yourself. Maybe this month is already the 15th of the month. It's already We're already halfway through. But for the next half of the month, maybe try to pick something. You can't do it once a day. Something that you really enjoy that really you know, resonates with your soul, resonates with self-care for you. Because self-care looks different for everybody. Self-care definitely looks different for everybody. So maybe for the rest of this month, and then you, once you, you know, put things in place, you continue to do it. But maybe you just start for the rest of this month. Try to pick something out once a week to do for yourself. Um, 
that would bring you joy, bring you uh, alleviate stress or whatever the case may be. And then maybe you'll continue to do those things. So I think I am going to continue to try to use some type of grocery pickup method or grocery um, or the delivery method to help me with just um, spreeing up some time. And I'm going to go from there and we'll see. But again, thank you guys. Thank you for your love, your support. Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. I hope that all is going well with you. I hope you had a great Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. And um, I hope that your Manjaro journey, if you're on Manjaro, I hope if that's going great. I hope, I know with these shortages, some people are not able to get their medication that they need. Um, so I hope that uh, these shortages, you know, go away soon. But how are you doing? Even if you're not on Manjaro, you're on a health journey of some sort and you're on a personal journey of some sort, how are you doing? Continue to strive. What? We're not giving up in 2024. Continue to continue on. So let me know in the comments below how you're doing so we can help support you along the way. But thank you again. Thank you for, as always for what you do for this community. I love you guys and God bless. Mm -hmm.